Tasmanian timber company Guns is fighting for its life. The future of the operation lies with the banks, who are owed more than $500 million. With few assets left, an analysts say the future looks bleak for the once thriving company. This report from Tracy Kirkland. Tall timber. At its peak, Guns was a $4 a share company boasting an annual profit of more than $100 million. Its fall has been long and hard. Guns have gone from being the largest wood chip exporter, um, certainly in the southern hemisphere, um, potentially there for a while in the world. They have now obviously gone from there to virtually nothing. Employee numbers have been slashed by half to just 600 and its share price is sitting at 16 cents. The company has been in a trading halt since March and has asked for an extension. In the dying moments of reporting season last week, the company announced an annual loss of $904 million with an asset devaluation of more than a billion dollars. So how did things go so horribly wrong? The collapse of the MIS schemes within Australia has been a, a big negative on the company's cash flow. We've seen an increase in supply of wood chips into the Asian region. We've seen an increase in the Australian dollar, which has hurt not only guns, but obviously a number of other manufacturers in Australia. And look, it's fair to say also the uh, some ill-timed acquisitions. What's left is a massive debt. Banks are owed $559 million, most of which is due in December. That means a real risk of falling into administration and soon. It really, it all rests on now a, a white knight investor uh, coming in and putting more equity into the firm. Uh, but whether they decide to take equity, they may well decide to buy the debt and then look at restructuring the company from there. The insolvency firms are circling. The sort of the companies that tend to, and uh, investors that tend to look at these situations are, are those that are interested in investing in distressed debt, vulture type hedge funds that will come in and be able to buy assets at a, at a substantially discounted value. There has been some speculation that there are some private equity firms, both here and overseas, looking at the company. With timber mill assets in South Australia, plantations in Tasmania, as well as the controversial pulp mill project, Guns is currently valued at around $24 million. Several Asian investors have expressed interest in a joint venture, but even that seems to be losing traction. You need a resource, you need a wood, a supply, you need the mill, and then you need the market in which to sell it. You know, you can't have two, you can't have a mill and, and a market to sell your wood if you can't get the wood coming in. So it's very much an integrated process um, and you know, as we move forward, guns is probably becoming less integrated and therefore it's harder to sell. The company's real value lies in the potential of its plantations, but that's also been reduced with the spiralling price of wood chips. Will the wood chip market turn around? Yes, it probably will over time. It, it won't continue, I don't think, to go down. But whether that gives guns enough time to avoid the chop looks more and more doubtful.